Hey guys, so today we are flying out to Mystique Island. Now we're ready to get in the car and get to the airport. Let's go. So we got to Heathrow Airport early in the morning and we checked in our luggage and then we got through security where we got our bags checked. And then we headed over to the British Airways lounge where we went to go get some food and drinks. And here you can see my sister and I ordering some breakfast from the menu. We pretty much ordered everything on the menu because we wanted to try everything. And yeah, once our bellies were full, we just walked around the airport and checked out some of the shops. Um, and then by then it was time to get to the gate. So we started to walk over to the gate where we boarded our flight. And now we're on the plane. Here you can see our seats. They gave us some champagne upon arrival. Um, my sister and I were sat together, which was cute. They gave us some cute little toiletries in this bag, as well as some pajamas to change into. This flight was kind of long, I think it was about eight hours. So yeah, I changed over into pajamas and it was good fun. And then yeah, I was watching a film, eating some food. This was the starter, some prawns with some Indian as a main and nice sorbet for dessert. And then later on they bring on like some afternoon tea, which my sister and I had together. And then before we knew it, it was almost time to land in St. Lucia. Landed in the Caribbean here in St. Lucia, about to get our connecting flight. But oh my god, it's so hot and beautiful! So, from St. Lucia, we had to take a smaller little <laughs> aircraft to Mystique, and the flight was about 20 minutes, I believe, and it was really small and very compact in there. Finally, after a long day of traveling, we made it to Mystique and it was so hot when we got there and they met us at the airport, which was so tiny, with these little um, buggies that we used to drive around the island and yeah, it was just gorgeous scenes at sunset on our way over to our villa um, where we got settled in and by then it was evening so we were pretty tired. We just got ready for bed and went to sleep. Hey guys, so we're here and we're about to go for a picnic on the beach, like a barbecue. And it's super hot and nice and sunny. Mum, where are we now? Lagoon number five. To do a <laughs> picnic. Woo! So we're here now for the picnic and we're so excited. We can have a barbecue over here and um, chill on the beach. Something real, not basic. 
Later on in the evening, after a day of chilling by the beach, we um, headed down to the famous Basil's Bar, down by the waterfront, for some drinks by the sunset, which was beautiful. We spent the next few days just exploring the island, um, which is a pretty small island. You can just go around in the buggy and it's about maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes to get anywhere that you want to go to. And there's like a little convenience store down at the waterfront near Basel's where they just sell snacks and uh, anything you might need. And we went to the pink shop and there's like tortoises everywhere and they're super cute. Basil's had to be our favorite spot to come and get lunch just because the view is like amazing and they've got great food with some tacos, fish, we've got burgers and yeah the staff is super super friendly and everyone from the island usually comes down there and hangs around um, from lunchtime till the evening so it's great to meet people. <laughs> And then just across from Basil's Bar down by the beach there's a little dessert ice cream shop which has these cute pastries all freshly baked and then in the evenings we came back to Basil because they usually have some events going on in the evening where everyone comes and meets up for drinks and food. Your body drive me crazy. I spent most of the next few days just solo exploring the island. Um, there was loads of different beachfronts and little spots you can go and chill at, which were pretty secluded. And I went down to the heart-shaped lagoon just to see and do a little bit of bird watching. Most days we decided to eat lunch down in Basil's Bar just because the food was really too good and the view was obviously amazing. And then afterwards, this day we headed down to Cotton House to do some water sports. Um, here you can do snorkeling and paddle boarding. You want to be starting on your knees, uh, like so. Okay. Once you get a good distance out, you take your time, you take both legs, you can paddle board. You like balance? Okay, basically good balance. I, 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 I see, by your heart I see. Come baby, come, come try me. After a day of paddle boarding and after we had lunch, we headed back home to change for dinner, which we also had at Cotton House. They did a barbecue slash buffet there, which was great. They had loads of different options to choose from with sides, as well as some roast grilled beef and some lobsters, which were amazing. It tasted so good. And then after that, we headed over to the Cotton House bar just to grab a few drinks together. Most days were pretty much just spent at the beach, relaxing. It really is that type of vibe on Mystique, just vacation vibes. And here we had another barbecue on the beach, which was so yummy. I also did a bunch of activities throughout the week, including tennis, just because it's a great way to meet other people who are on the island at the time and get active, which was really good fun. Gonna go snorkeling.
Yeah, I, 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 I see why you are as I see. Come, baby, come, come, try me. Everybody, come, come, by me. The guy I twist and turn, twist and turn. The guy I twist and turn, twist and turn. Baby, I have heard no twist and turn. The guy I twist and turn, twist and turn. Hey guys, so I thought I'd just hop on here to do a bit of the vlog um i haven't really talked that much in this vlog or video um partly because i just wanted to show what was going on what we've been doing day to day rather than just talking all the time but i thought i'd just hop on here and um chat because we're obviously leaving soon so you know it's our final few days and just been up to loads of stuff but also kind of chilling at the same time it's quite a chill place just go to the beach go for food so yeah but overall obviously our experience here has been amazing such a beautiful island such lovely people amazing food everything has just been fab um we went snorkeling i went paddle boarding we we're obviously down at the beach most days i went on a trail ride horse riding so that was really good fun um also went i didn't manage to vlog too much but i went to the tennis club and was playing tennis and that was really cool this is my look for the night we went for dinner at the veranda it was really really nice food and drinks over there so yeah i'm literally cringing myself i don't really talk too much That's why i didn't talk too much in this vlog but yeah just thought i'd hop on and sort of give an update of what's been happening and um, yeah obviously Mystique and St Vincent's and the Grenadines is just gorgeous islands beautiful place yeah it's just been such an amazing experience <laughs> And just like that, 10 days just kind of flew by, but when you're having a good time, I guess time flies. And yeah, we were on our way back home. We took the little plane back to the main island where we got on our international flight with BA back to London. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe for more videos coming soon.